Bye bye, Baldiff. Excellent. What's shaking, guys? Thanks again for tuning in to Poor Boys RC. Today I've got the Yeah Racing gear differential solution for the TD4 and TD2 Tamiya Super Avante. I know a bunch of you guys are a little bit chapped, just like I was. What is with the ball differential and that little plastic T nut stripping out? If you watched my last video, I did upgrade the rear differential with the aluminum T nut because I was able to get it from my local store. They only had one come in stock. So at the same time, I ordered this guy up from the good people over at RC Mart. And this is part number TAM, T-A-M-C-040. And as you see there, guys, it's a 50 and 52 tooth gear differential set that, uh, that can drop right in this chassis and a variety of other chassis. I will throw a link in the description box below so you know where to find yours if you want to get one. Let's get this package opened up and let's get it installed. All right, guys, let's get this package cracked open here, see what she's all about. So here are our package contents laid out just as we would receive them. Not that. There we go. So here's what we get. We've got two different diff gear housings. One is a 50 tooth, one is a 52 tooth. I'm going to have to make sure I match it up to what I have in the rear. I'm not too sure what I have off the top of my head. We've got a plastic cover, depending which one you want to go with. Here we have our four... Uh, spider gears are two sun gears, all made of plastic. Here we just have the center unit, which we're going to probably be putting our sun gears onto. Or is that a locker? I'm not too sure. Looks like a locker, doesn't it? Here we just have some screws, our metal outdrive cups, a couple of O-rings to keep your fluid in if you decide to fill it with fluid, and a uh, gasket to keep the fluid in as well. There's the instructions there, guys. Looks relatively simple. Let's put this thing together, put some fluid in there, see how she goes. So with your trusty two mil, take out all the top screws that are holding the, the upper plate that's holding the front differential in place. Remove all of those screws. I loosened up my shocks for a little bit of extra space and that plate lifts right up and we can easily access our front diff. What's this? What's this ball diff good for? Anyway, I'll get into that on another day. But first things first, I need to count how many teeth are on this diff so I ensure that I use the correct gear differential from Yeah Racing. I'm going to use my trusty white Sharpie here to mark every tenth one because I've lost my place a few times. 52 tooth that's in there. Let's use the 52 tooth option so we are matchy matchy the 50 tooth i don't know what that would be good for maybe a different chassis this is used in a variety of different chassis so remember to use the 52 and with that said this thing shouldn't be too hard to build just cut out that center section first so we got this little cat right here cut out our sun gears or spider gears and then these are sun gears right is that what these are called I think so. This little doodad here. So what's the old instruction book say here? Grab this little guy here, take one of these little guys here, put that guy in there. And wait, put that guy right on yonder. Next step is to drop a spacer on there. Just like that. Next step, grab one of these little metal pins. Slide her right on in. There you go, bud. Just like that. You guys see that? Let's get you right in there, right? Let's get you right in there. Grab one of these little cats here. Drop that little cat right on there. We're gonna put this guy right about yonder. And that is step one. Step two, again, we're gonna start off with this little guy here. We're gonna take our out drive, pop it right in, just like that. Drop in an O-ring, like that. Spacer's next. In she goes. This is the fun part when you get to take this tiny little pin and try and get it in the hole in there. You might hear some swearing here. And that's what you're looking for there, guys. You want that spacer to hold everything in place. Next step, take your next bevel gear or sun gear, whatever you want to call it. Drop it in there. Next option, guys, is spool 
or open diff. Up to you. In this application, I'm not going to use a spool. I'm going to go with this little guy right here, which will function as an open diff, which is what I want on the TD4. And before I drop that in, I'm just going to take some Tamiya grease, get her nice and greasy in here. Now you guys can use different silicone greases if you want. Whatever it is that you want to run in your diff, you run it in your diff. This is my diff. There are many diffs like it, but this one is mine. It's going to grease her up some more. Next step, guys, is just to take the other side of your diff cup, align. Wow, that was pretty cool. Just jumped right off. Line it all up. Look at that. We've got a differential with no crappy plastic T-nut. Four little teeny little tiny little screws. But there we go, guys. We've got a new diff. All right. So let's let's compare diffs. Here's the stock differential. Here is the uh, racing differential. Right away, we can see the uh, racing is significantly wider. Not only are the are the teeth quite a bit wider, but it's also got this plastic cap on here. Now that being said, the outdrives line up correctly appear to be the same width, so I hope everything's going to fit up oakley dokely Let's find out. Let's see how this guy fits here, boys. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I hate working on this chassis. It's like you got to take the whole front end apart to access anything. It, it's just not a fun chassis to work on, is it? I try and stay positive, but the TD4 has given me more headaches than I care for. What are your thoughts on the TD4 chassis? Put your comments down below, guys. I'm really curious to know what you think because a lot of you guys have got one already. Um, I've heard a real mixed bag of reviews. So I'm just curious. I'm curious what you guys think. What do you think of the TD4? Is it a hit or is it a flop? Oh my God. I am going to lose it. Mm. What the deuce is that? <sighs> this thing. Where did you come from, bud? Let me tell you something, TD4. I'm going to lose it. Working on this front end is like playing with a wet noodle. It's just all flopping around and... Take that where you want to take it. <laughs> but man, oh man. What a nightmare. Look at this. This is the kind of buggy, like, when you've got it built, you just, you don't want to ever touch it again. Definitely onto something. I don't know what I'm onto, but we're, we're, we're definitely onto something, guys. So that's progress. Let's put this guy in here and see what that does. I don't know what happened there, but that thing's loose now. That's fine. Holy crap. How'd you get in there, bud? So while I struggle with the TD4, working on it, it's absolute misery. I thought to, to try and stay positive, let's try and think of some things that are, are, are more fun than working on the TD4 Super Avante. I'll get started. Number one thing that's more fun than working on this chassis, hanging out with my ex-wife. Yeah, yeah, that's more fun than working on this chassis. What else? Unclogging a toilet. Yep, yeah, have a whole bunch of buddies come over, beer, pizza, everything, clog her right up. Fixing that toilet is more fun than working on this chassis. What else is more fun than working on the TD4? Taking cutlery and sticking it in those, those sockets in your house, the electrical sockets, that is a lot more fun than working on this chassis, let me tell you. But we're making some progress, so that's good. Definitely not about to lose it. I'm feeling good, boys, feeling positive. Oh, look, more weird stuff jumping around. The guy that invented this has got to be a Jedi or something. Waking up with your head sewn to the carpet. That's more fun than working on the TD4. Punching yourself in the face. More fun than working on a TD4. What do you think would be more fun than working on a TD4? Put it in the comments below. I'd like to know. It's alive. So that's it. It's in there. It works. It's silky smooth. That is all fantastic. Um, if you guys have any questions, please throw them down in the comment section below. 
Always happy to answer you guys. And as soon as the weather lets up, I'm going to get this thing outside to do some more testing with it. It is not fully waterproof. It is kind of waterproof. So I don't know if I should take it out in the pouring rain, but as soon as I get a good day, guarantee we're going to do some testing because now we've got the Yeah Racing diff up front. We've got the Tamiya aluminum diff in the rear, aluminum diff nut in the rear, providing us some proper differentiation. And that's it. I'm going to go jump off a bridge. Be excellent to each other. Bye, guys.